Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team. And in this video, I will teach you how to build the services page of our website. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist for which you'll find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, in order to help you complete this website project, you'll find a link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now, as you may recall, at the beginning of this course, we imported a ready-made website with the starter templates plugin. This ready-made website came with the home page, the about page, the services page, and the contact page. And today we will be editing the services page so that it matches our brand and our content. Now, this course is free and in order to allow a maximum of people to follow along, all the tools used in this course are also free. And even if you don't have a web hosting and domain, you could always create a website locally on your machine with tools like Local by Flywheel, for example. But if you want to take this to the next level, you may want to consider an even more powerful combo with the Essential or Business Toolkits from Astra, which will not only give you access to priority support, but also access to several premium plugins like Astra Pro, premium starter templates, but also access to the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. A popular all-in-one add-on that enhances Elementor's capabilities, offering more than 50 cool widgets, like the Content Toggle widget, the Before and After Slider widget, or the popular Hotspots widget, just to name a few, as well as 200 plus pre-built blocks for all of your Elementor needs. Because most probably, once you're done with this course and realize that there is no limit to what you want to create, you will want to take it to the next level. Now, I will get back to this later in the course, but if you are interested, you will find a link to get ultimate add-ons for Elementor in the description below. So, first of all, in WordPress, you want to go to Pages, All Pages. And before we edit the Services page, we're going to open the About page. So, hover over About and click on Edit with Elementor. And first, we're going to select our first container here. So, you can either click here on Edit Container, or you can open the Structure panel and select the page header container here. Next, right click and click on copy. Next, click on the Elementor icon in the top left, click on exit to WordPress, then click on the logo in the top left corner, accept the prompt because you want to go back to the WordPress admin, and then in pages, all pages, you want to hover over services and click on edit with Elementor. Next, you want to hover over the first container and click on the plus sign, then right click and paste. So as you may imagine, it's way more convenient to copy that container from the about us page and paste it here instead of having to change the settings again just for that hero section on this page. Because more than likely, the hero sections are going to be the same from one page to the other, with maybe the exception of the home page. So next we can delete this container here. So just click on delete. Let's scroll back up. And first of all, let's select our container. Then go to Style, click on Choose Image, and let's select this image here. Next, click on Select. And next, let's open our course files and click on the text subfolder. And next, open the text file for the services page. And as usual, let's rename our containers. So the first one we copied from the About Us page, so it's already renamed. And the second one is Web Design. Copy and paste. The third one is Graphic Design. Copy and paste. The next one is branding. Copy and paste. And the next one is credibility. Copy and paste. Now let me scroll back up to the second one. And now we can change the text. Now let's go back to our project files. Let's copy the text for web design service. Now let's select our text editor and let's replace the text. Next, let's remove the price. So for that, I'm going to right click on the pencil icon and click on delete. Now for the button, let's copy a button from a previous page. So let's click on publish to save our work. Then click on the Elementor icon, exit to WordPress, click on the logo in the top left, accept the prompt, and let's open the about page. So hover over it and click on edit with Elementor. Now let's scroll down. Right click on the button and click on copy. Now let's go back. So click on the Elementor logo, exit to WordPress. And you know the drill now, click on the logo, accept the prompt, hover over services and click on edit with Elementor. 
Now, of course, if you're going to do a lot of copying and pasting between pages, it makes more sense to actually open a new tab, copy the elements you need, and then just go back to the current tab and paste what you need. So that being said, let's scroll down and let's right click on our button and paste style. So now we need to do a little bit of tweaking. So with our button selected, first of all, I'm going to remove the pound sign, type contact and select the contact page. Then let's align the button on the left, click on icon library, type right, and let's select Chevron right. Then click on insert and make sure the icon position is set to after. Next, click on style, text color should be set to theme color number five. Now for the background color, you actually want to click on the color here and drag the opacity slider all the way to the left. Now the border color should be set to theme color number five. And now click on the hover sub tab. Text color should be set to theme color number six. Background color should be set to theme color number five. And border color should be set to theme color number five. So now when you hover over it, this is how it looks. Great, let's hit publish to save our work. And let's keep on editing. So first of all, let's select our image here. Click on change image. And let's select this image here. Next, click on select. Then click on the style tab and where you see border radius, you want to type five all around. And next, let's right click on the image, copy. And we're just going to paste the style for the other two services. So right click, paste style. And the same thing for the last one, right click, paste style. Great. Now let's go back up and let's edit our graphic design service. So once again, let's go back to the course files and let's select the text for the graphic design service. Copy, then let's select our text editor and let's replace the text. Next, let's remove the price, right click, delete. Now let's scroll back up, let's right click on our button, click on copy, and this time instead of just pasting the style, we're going to right click on our button and just paste because it already has the right link, so it's less work. And let's remove this one, so right click and delete. Let's repeat the operation for the last service while we're at it. Right click, paste, and let's delete the first one, delete. All right, let's scroll back up. Next, let's select our image, click on change image, and this time we're going to select this image here. Click on select, awesome. Now let's scroll down and let's replace the text with the text in the course files. So select, copy, let's select the text editor, remove the text and paste. Now let me make the paragraphs separated. Next, let's remove the price, delete, then let's select our image, click on choose image, and let's select this image here. Then hit select, great. Now let's click on publish to save our work and let's scroll down. So first of all, let's replace the text. So let's go back to our course files, copy, and let's paste item by item, copy, and let's replace, copy, and paste. Next, let's style. So let's select the first heading, then go to style, and where you see text color, let's select theme color number two. Then let's select the next item, which is a text editor widget. Go to style, text color, and select text color number six. Now let's just right click, copy, and then right click on this one here, and paste style. Next, let's take care of our badges. So click on the pencil icon of the first badge, then go to style, click on the icon sub tab, and where you see primary color, you want to select theme color number four, and then for secondary color, you want to pick theme color number five. Next, click on the content sub tab, and where you see color, you want to pick theme color number two. Next, right click on the first icon box, click on copy, and then click on the second one, paste style, and repeat the operation for icon box number three and icon box number four. Next, select the whole container, then go to style, background, and where you see color, you want to pick theme color number four. So we're almost done, but there's one more thing we need to do. So let's scroll back up 
And if you recall, we forgot to change the name of our page in the hero section. So let's do that now and click on publish. Next, click on the preview changes icon. And as you can see, we have our beautiful hero section. Then we have each service detailed. And if you click on any of the call to action buttons, it takes us to the contact page. Now, let me go back. And if we scroll down, the last container is about the advantages of working with digital force. So as you can see, with the help of the imported ready-made website, as well as the course files, building the services page was a breeze. And in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can build the contact page.